Okay, everybody, so what I've got here is 30 grams of ammonium thiocyanate. You can see that it's kind of pinkish for some reason. I have no idea why that would be, but whatever. Um, I guess we'll try it and see. This is the first time I've bought from this seller on eBay. Maybe it's supposed to be slightly pinkish? I do not know. Let's hope that it works, since the last two experiments I've tried to film both crashed and burned. Would really be nice. I'm just, I'm just having a bad streak here, y'all. Um, anyway, we are... that The textbook says to use the thermometer as a stir bar. That is literally what it says to do. We are supposed to melt this stuff down to about um, 150C. And then once it melts, we will begin to add in the ammonium dichromate. Um, this is very, very similar to the um, tetrathiocyanatochromate that I did. But I figured, you know, it's something that I'm reasonably confident will work because I've already done a compound that is like it. It's supposed to be red. And... Um, yeah, maybe maybe we can pull this one off. So, I don't know, man. I need something to get my fucking mojo back here because this shit is just unacceptable. So, um, anyway, I, I will come back shortly when this is beginning to melt. Okay, our ammonium thiocyanate is just about molten. The temperature is a little bit high. I'm going to let it cool down for just a little bit. It's supposed to be at about 150C. The thermometer saying it's at about 160. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and try. The next step is to add 5.1 grams of ammonium dichromate, which I've got right here. So, here goes nothing, people. Focus, you piece of shit. It says to add it a little bit at a time. Oh, that's a very nice color. Nice and purpley. Well, you melt, you little chunks. Very annoying. Oh boy, that smells like some kind of poisoning. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is getting a little warm. Alright, let's maybe just let that calm down for just a little bit. There we go. Oh, god damn. It smells like ammonia. Okay. That's not good. Let's just let it calm down a bit. Yeah, nice big nose full of ammonia there. That, that was pleasant. I really hope that's all it's given off. Oh, there's all kinds of bubbling. What's the temperature at? Whoa! Fuck! Okay, yeah. Let's go. We're gonna let that cool down a little bit. Much better. Uh, the textbook does warn us to be careful about oh shit, letting it get too cold. 
boy, every time I add some of this stuff in here, the temperature jumps. it cool off and solidify in a desiccator so got my usual desiccator here Get this some bitch on this motherfucker there we go we don't need you anymore tonight. Fuck, you put it in water, it turns red. Neat. All right. We are gonna let that cool off in there and solidify, and I will come back when we're ready to move to the next step. All right, now that our, um, stuff has solidified, it says to transfer it into a beaker with 125 grams of ice. It says to do this quickly after it solidifies, so we're going to do it quickly. Though so it's mostly solid, well... Not sure what the rush is, but we will follow the instructions. I suppose that we're supposed to mix it in there well, so that's what we're going to do. There is a stir bar in there, and given the temperatures out here today, which is yeah, about 31C in the shade, I don't imagine it's going to stay icy for long. Excess ammonium thiocyanate or no. Well, that's solidified very nicely. Get your ass in there. Oh, shit. I forgot to scale back the amount of ice. Well. Hmm. That could be problematic. Or maybe not, considering the fact that it has to melt spontaneously, and I can just rinse these ice cubes off after it has melted some, and take them out of here. All right, so I removed um, the ice cubes after everything had gotten nice and ice cold, weighed them, it's about right. Um, now the instructions say to filter off the red solid that you see here without washing it. Then we are going to re-dissolve it in water that has been heated up to 70 degrees C, um, re-filter it, uh, cool it down in ice water to 5C and then we will have our final product. So once this is done draining it off here we'll move on to the next step.
All right, y'all, I have some water here that has been heated up to 70 degrees C, the correct amount this time. Um, okay, how am I going to get this shit out of here? Oh, well, that's lovely. Mm hmm. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Let's try this. one way to do it. Best way, but it works, kind of. Okay. Now we need to let this stir. The way the textbook reads, the temperature will drop. Yep, it sure did down to about 55 degrees so now we need to let it heat back up to 65 after which we have to filter it into a chilled flask and rapidly cool it down to 5c so I will make sure everything is set up and ready to do that while this warms back up all right so our solution is back up to 65 degrees C so we need to filter it now really hope all that shit is actually going to filter out of there and not just pass right through that shit because that would be really goddamn aggravating. Ooh, look. Some stuff in there. Isn't that nice? Whatever filters out is not our actual product. It is another compound. Here you can compare the pure Reinecke salt or, and the pure Moreland salt, which they do look a little different. The um, Reinecke salt is a darker color, slightly darker color, and it's more sparkly. So it looks like there's, I don't know, just more well-formed crystals in there. The Moreland salt is not sparkly. It is drying out very quickly, though. Um, probably because it's so hot out here. So, anyway, there you go, people. There is Moreland salt and Reinecke's salt, or however the hell. I'm sure I'll get, you know, eviscerated in the comments section for my pronunciation here. But I don't care. So, anyway, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well... I don't know what it takes to make you happy. This is the first one in fucking three goddamn experiments that actually fucking worked. Subscribe, share the video, comment, and until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That is very pretty, man. I really do like that. Finally, something fucking worked.